Prepare yourself for a journey to wisdom, wellness, and wonder through Greek philosophy. Whatever your hopes and dreams may be, you will emerge from this guided meditation much more comfortable and much more confident than before. It will all seem effortless to you. Now prepare yourself, arrange your clothes, make sure your other devices are turned off so that we will have no disturbances during this guided meditation. Your hands should be to the side of your body with the palms facing upwards. At the end of this video, please like, comment, share it with your friends, and make sure you're subscribed to this channel. If you'd like to listen to today's session without any advertisement interruptions, head on over to patreon.com. You can go ahead and close your eyes if you feel more comfortable. Now let's begin by taking a deep breath together, inhaling through the nose, holding that breath and spreading it throughout your whole body from the top of your head to the tips of your toes. And only when you've spread the oxygen in your body can you then exhale through the mouth. Again, inhale deeply, deeply, deeply. Relaxing your facial muscles, relaxing your shoulders, spreading the oxygen to all the cells of your body and exhaling through the mouth with double the time so that really you empty out any stress. Once again, a deep, deep inhalation, relaxing your jaw in particular by dropping your mouth open, spreading the oxygen throughout your whole body relaxing your shoulders and again exhaling double the time so that you feel deeply deeply relaxed observe your abdomen your stomach area as it's rising and falling with every breath you take Observe how it inflates like a balloon every time you're inhaling and how it deflates every time you exhale. Allow yourself to breathe naturally, relaxing and being comfortable with every breath you take. Inhaling and exhaling. Your shoulders are relaxing. Your whole right arm is relaxing. Your whole left arm is relaxing. 
relaxing. The abdomen area is relaxing. Your genital area is relaxing. Your whole left leg is relaxing. Your whole right leg is relaxing. You feel yourself sinking deeper and deeper as you feel your whole body relaxing. Living in agreement with nature and practicing the four cardinal virtues which we received from Plato and Socrates. What are the four cardinal virtues to live by? The first is phronesis. This is practical wisdom, knowing good from bad. Second is dikeosine, which is basically justice, fairness, and kindness in our relations with others. Third is andria, wise courage and endurance in response to our pain and anxiety. And fourth is sofrosini, temperance, wise self-discipline in response to our desires. So as an ethical doctrine, the goal of Stoicism is freedom from anguish or suffering through the pursuit of reason and apathia, which is a Greek word meaning to be dispassionate, objective, unemotional, and with clear judgment. It teaches indifference and passive reaction to external events on the grounds that nothing external can be good or evil because it really depends on how we view things. As Epictetus taught, just keep in mind the more we value things outside our control the less control we have. Stoicism therefore gives us back the power offering equanimity in the face of life's highs and lows. Socrates was their hero and role model. He was put on trial, accused of corrupting the youth of Athens. After being found guilty of this charge, he had been sentenced to death. And as he is being held in prison. His old friend Crito comes to see him and provides Socrates with an opportunity to escape. Socrates refuses to escape and accepts his impending death, making a choice in keeping with his values and character.
So if Socrates is the hero of the Stoics for living his life according to his values and even sacrificing his life in the same way that Christ did on the cross, how does that reflect on you? What are you willing to give your life for? Not to die for, but to dedicate your life to. This is what you are called to do in this lifetime. Not to be a martyr like Socrates and Jesus Christ. Instead of giving up your life, in this case, you are asked to dedicate your life to something. What is that something? What is that cause for which you want to give your whole life? And therefore to rise and live as the people you worship. To become that person who sacrifices everything that's not asked of you. No, not in this lifetime. What is asked of you is that you commit to something that you love and that you find worthy so that you can flourish on your path to making that a reality. This is what you are called to do. So ask yourself, what is that cause? And my dear friend, I can only recommend that it is something that is free of the external world, but rather it is a state that you desire, a state of inner freedom. What better cause to dedicate your life to than to perpetuate your own inner freedom at every moment? Looking deep into yourself, ask yourself, what is that state that I want to always have within me that is free from external ups and downs? Something that is not affected by external events when you choose this experience, when you choose to practice this experience and make it your ethos, everything will change. You will have taken back the power of your life. Maybe that's why Nikos Kazantzakis, the great Greek writer, once wrote, I fear nothing, I want nothing, I am free. This is the path of the Stoic. You will fear nothing, you will want nothing, because inside you will be free. That's not to say that you will not have some external goals. But down deep inside, you'll always be free. Because the experience you're really looking for is freedom. Freedom 
from reacting, the freedom to choose, to lead yourself, to be the master of yourself. There is no higher cause than to be the master of yourself. Because only when you master and awaken to yourself can you ever help anyone else or inspire anyone else. It's like the life vests. First you must put it on yourself and save yourself. And then you can help someone else. Practicing freedom is what Stoicism is all about. Every moment of every day. Freedom from fear. Freedom from desires. Simply choosing freedom as a way of being. To be the master of oneself. For how can you lead others if you can't lead yourself? Just as Socrates taught. Now is a good time to repeat your deep affirmation three times. Your life mission and purpose. No matter what happens in your life, this will become a reality. And now, on the count of three, you're going to return to full open awareness, returning to your ordinary life. One, take a deep breath, expanding your shoulders, expanding your arms over your head like you do early in the morning, stretching yourself. Two, take another deep breath and move your body stretching from side to side. Three, extend to the tips of your toes and the tips of your fingers, stretching your whole body, feeling revitalized, you're feeling confident, you're feeling powerful and certain of yourself. And as you're returning to full awareness, simply stretch your neck from side to side, relaxing your shoulders and opening your eyes if you've had them closed up until now. You look around and you see that the environment hasn't changed, but deep in yourself, you know that you have experienced a deep transformation. The reality may look the same, but you have changed, and that changes everything. That will attract the most positive energy. No matter what happens, you know that you are able to handle things from a place of inner strength and confidence. Thank you for joining me in this guided meditation. I look forward to seeing you next time. Once again, thank you for supporting my work on Patreon.com.